we're marking off a bucket list item, which is to see all of the Disneyland parks. Obviously we go at home all the time because we have an annual pass, but we are at Tokyo Disneyland. <laughs> We were really bummed because we didn't have enough time in Hong Kong to go to Hong Kong Disneyland. We will go back someday. But for now, what better way to do Tokyo Disney in the winter when the crowds are a little less crazy and uh, hopefully we'll have some rides to ourselves. We'll see. I've heard this is the most crazy, busy Disneyland in the world. So we're gonna go find out what it looks like on a Thursday in the winter. Probably still crazy. <laughs> Based on being the busiest Disneyland in the world, it was recommended that even if you have a ticket already, which we do, you come a full hour early just to get in the line to get in, even though you already have a ticket, which is fine because then those lines over there are to get the ticket. And then you'd have to go in this one as well. So they have something here that's completely different back at home. It's like a, a mascot, if you will, but it's called the Duffy Bear. We do not have that in Disneyland, California. But we're not even inside yet and it's everywhere. Everywhere. It's so funny. Duffy. <laughs> The weather has taken a turn. I hope it doesn't stay all day, but... It's looking pretty gray out there. <laughs> And in order to get fast fast, you have to run. The first fast pass is for Monster Zinc Ride and Go Seek because it's a ride that is unique to Tokyo Disneyland. Let's go. <laughs> go, go, go. The smell of the food already. Oh my gosh, I'm like, oh. oh. I know we're on the budget, but <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> I like their machine. <laughs> okay, so we got our fast passes now. What we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go to Winnie the Pooh, which is also a ride that is unique to Tokyo Disney, and wait because the line for that one is generally three hours all day long. Three hours? This way. <laughs> So, Winnie the Pooh, my personal opinion is it is a lot better than the one in California. You're on these like little honey pots and it does more like interactive stuff than the California one. It's like a lot of the rides at California Adventure. Like it's not on a track, so you're like spinning around and kind of like dancing in the cart. And they have this part where you're in like a honey room and you can smell honey. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that smells good. I really liked the ride. I thought it was better than the one in Disneyland, California. But yeah, I, I couldn't imagine waiting more than like 30 minutes. No. As we walk around and we see everyone super dressed up, I think it's because culturally they just like the cutesy stuff better. And so Winnie the Pooh to them was a huge deal. And to us, we don't really care. Whereas like Star Tours here, they don't care about that. So the lines are usually really yeah. short for that. So it's just different culturally, but it was good. I don't need to do it again. And I would never wait three hours for it. <laughs> So more than anywhere in the world, Japan has a lot of rules and you strictly follow those rules. So today we're not going to be able to show a lot of the rides because you're not allowed to have a camera on the rides and they strictly enforce those rules. So we'll just talk about them after. Yeah. Right now we are getting on Space Mountain which is the same as California but there might be maybe a difference in music. Not sure. We're going to see. The track might be different, but so far the building itself is the same. They are already the friendliest Disney cast members ever. ever. <laughs> Even though I don't know what they're saying. No, but they're so sweet. We just 
got out of, off of Space Mountain, it is exactly the same as California Disneyland, except there is no music. So you're just on yeah. this really awkward, silent ro roller coaster. It is the same exact ride, even like almost turn for turn the same. Yeah. But there's no music. I think it's weird since there's no music, you can hear other people like screaming and laughing that aren't on your cart. And so it's kind of like not as magical and it's not as like secretive, you know? You like you know when the turns are coming because you can hear the people in front of you that just went on them. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, we've been on it 900 times. Yeah, so. that's true. It just wasn't as magical without music. I think it's weird that it plays such a huge part, but it does. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. It's cute. Look at how different this haunted mansion is. The haunted mansion may be very different, but they still have turkey legs. And they still smell like that. And they smell the same. <laughs> All right, we just got off haunted mansion. For short. <laughs> I really liked it. Uh, there's like subtle, very subtle differences. I would say the first three rooms are a little bit different. They have like big spider webs instead of like the candle lit hallways, which they have that eventually, but not right at the beginning. And the other difference is at home. Haunted Mansion is the ride that you go in to cool down. It has really good <laughs> air conditioning. So if you're really hot, you go into Haunted Mansion. This one is blasting heat. Thankfully, I do think it's funny because like the beginning of the ride is all in Japanese. So like you still go down the elevator as normal, but then like halfway through the ride, the ladies whose head is in the ball, it's all in English. So Brayden and I were just like reciting. <laughs> Finally something we can understand. <laughs> yeah, so it was just kind of weird like what was Japanese and what was in English. I don't know, it's funny. But yeah, basically exactly the same as at home. I like it. It's a good one. <laughs> First fast pass of the day. Monster Z. It's cute. It looks like the lobby from the movie. That's what this is. Okay, Monster Zing, ride and go seek. What did you think? <laughs> um, I think at first we were a little confused as to what you do. It's a game and you have these flashlights and you shine them on helmets throughout the game. And Boo is like hiding throughout the game as well, but we didn't really understand why you shine the flashlight on the helmets because there's no score to keep you in competition. I don't and, really know. And all the monsters, they move or like come out of the trash cans, whether you shine your light on them or not. <laughs> We're just a little confused. I enjoyed the ride, but I just didn't understand what we were doing wrong. Or why it's the top ride in this whole theme park. Um, they were right when they said nobody cares about this one. It's like one of my faves. The detail is so good. At least I So do you think that Japanese people say Caribbean or Caribbean? <laughs> I don't think they say either. Okay, I don't <laughs> think so either. Or either. Either or either. <laughs> I hate uh, English so I do much. too. Anyway, there's no point in doing a review of Pirates of the Caribbean because it's exactly the same. Like the tiniest little details are different, but if you don't go as often as we do, you wouldn't catch it probably. It's, it's the, same. the same. And it's good. And it's good. And no one likes it here for some reason, so you literally walk onto the ride, which is a bonus. I just really like it because it's seriously like the most detailed and um, cool ride for it's just a, looking at. It's a great ride if you're in the mood to just sit. Yeah. Welcome to Adventureland. 
The only thing we're missing is Indiana Jones. It's in Disney Sea, not Disneyland. Boo. But their tiki room is huge. Look behind you. Look at It's like from Bali. <laughs> what the heck? First up, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. I love the jokes. The jokes are gonna be in Japanese. <laughs> Okay, Jungle Cruise review. It's it's better than at home. Way better. They don't have Indiana Jones here. So what they did is they pulled some Indiana Jones temple-y Ruin. ruins magic stuff and they put it into this. We obviously don't understand Japanese, but the, <laughs> the lady who was driving the boat, you could just tell, just she was so much more animated. I mean, the people at home are really funny, but she was, you tell she was hilarious. Yeah, you, she did a good job. We were laughing even though we had no idea what she was saying. <laughs> yeah, and then she'd like ask people to raise their hands or stuff and we were the only two that didn't. We looked <laughs> we're like, like idiots. <laughs> people are clapping and we're like, oh, yeah. clap. Uh, clap, clap, okay. <laughs> so, after all that, this one's Jungle Cruise wins. Yep. So the next ride that they recommend fast passes for it's Splash Mountain, which is super funny because it's not even 45 degrees. And all of the rides, they make you take off your raincoats. But it's still, no matter what time of year, it's one of the busiest rides, so fast pass it is. So Splash Mountain is good. It's this weird mix of English and Japanese. So some of the song is in English, like the word zippity doodah, but then everything else is Japanese. <laughs> and laughing places in English and Oh yes, rest. yes, yes. Other than that, it's mostly the same. The carts, you have to sit two by two and you have to be buckled in. I think the ones at home, because you sit one after the other, it's maybe more uncomfortable because you have your legs spread, but it's just more, I don't know, more chance of getting wet. I like this one because you get like an equal amount of wetness so one person isn't more soaked than the other because you get to sit next to each other. We also were lucky in sat in the back. Thankfully. That was fun. Oh, also, they have heaters inside yeah. the ride and you go past these vents and it's like, oh. <laughs> they know what's up. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. The wild. Oh, it's right in the wilderness. It looks like ours. geysers. I mean ours has geysers but these are like different kind. It also felt longer. Maybe longer. I think it's longer and faster. I liked it a lot even though it's very similar. No. It's good. It was a good one. Okay so weird thing about this Disneyland is it is so busy 
that in order to see any of the shows or watch the fireworks show, you have to use your ticket and it's a lottery system. So it's all by chance and you put your ticket in the machine and it tells you whether or not you get to go to the shows or the fireworks. And we forgot to do it. So hopefully we get to do any of them. <laughs> so we'll see. Please touch the show you would like to see. Your party may attempt the lottery for each show only once. First performance? Yes, first performance. Have the passport tickets for your party ready? Touch the button. Please press your passport tickets one by one on the reader as shown. Okay. Start. Oh my gosh. We didn't do it early enough. I figured so that was gonna happen. Go no. Oh. You can't go in that area. Okay, our day here at Tokyo Disney is wrapping up. It's getting dark, it's getting cold, and we're gonna do one final review of Tokyo Disneyland versus Disneyland California. What are the pros of Tokyo Disney? A couple pros that we came up with. The castle. Yeah. The castle is so huge. <laughs> like, and just more, I don't know, it's fancier, there's more detail. It looks more like a real castle. Yeah, it seems more magical to me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Number two, the Disney spirit is alive here. Every single person or group of people is decked head to toe in like matching gear and it's all just Disney swag. It's it's so intense that I actually read there is a secondhand store in Tokyo just for Disney stuff in case you want to dress up and not pay full price because Disney things are outrageously priced. Yeah, and the cast members are awesome. I think it's just part of the culture too. It's just over friendly, but the cast members are really good. They're so sweet and just so accommodating to everyone. Yeah. So for California, there's two that kind of go hand in hand. I would say this Disneyland is kind of lacking in decoration. It's not as like festive or magical feeling. Um, there's pretty aspects, but the details that go into the California park are just crazy. Strictly speaking, rides, not because California has the home court advantage, but the rides in California are better. The attention to detail in the rides is better. Their heavy hitters here are like Monsters Inc. and Winnie the Pooh. Those are just random rides at home. We already feel like idiots because we're 28 year olds that are obsessed with Disneyland. So that's already against us, but <laughs> that being said, I feel like I'm at a little kid theme park. Well, don't feel stupid though because all the people enjoying right. this right now are adults. <laughs> That's fair. But it is it is interesting to see what rides are popular at home versus here. They're completely different. Yeah. Which is nice because we get to go on some of our faves and we don't have to wait in line. But um, yeah, I think that the things that we liked better about this place were the things that were very different. Like the Tiki Room was very different. The castle was very different. Mm -hmm. But other than that, most of it is the same and if you're in Tokyo, definitely come here. And I think on a rating scale, if I was to compare the two parks, Disneyland California and Disneyland Tokyo, Disneyland California wins. I agree. 